What's up guys, CD here, and welcome to a breaking HNN news flash. We have some massive news about Wolverine 3 for you tonight, and man, it's been a crazy 72 hours for that film, hasn't it? We've gone from knowing next to nothing about the project to finally having our first official details about the movie. I mean, first, we got a look at that official poster, seemingly showing Wolverine holding hands with a small child, and then on top of that, we got a photo of the script, which seemingly revealed some character names, and then... Finally, the piece de resistance, we learned the film would simply be called Logan, not Old Man Logan, not Wolverine 3, just Logan. And now, today, exclusively from the wrap and a new report, we have some details about the central cast of the film. Of course, including Wolverine and Professor X, who we've already heard about, three new characters that you that have not been confirmed or even officially reported on only whispered about so without further ado let's get down to business first and foremost on that poster it does look like wolverine is holding hands with a small child because he is it's a girl a two-clawed mutant girl named laura and if that's ringing some bells it should because that's laura kinney aka x23 the female clone of wolverine who's been rumored to be involved in the film for the last few months now this would seemingly be a huge confirmation for that coming to us from the wrap a very reputable trade publication and i i'm honestly in love with this idea i love having x23 in this movie i think there's some poetry to that it's the last wolverine th film but it could be the start of x23 in this fox marvel universe i really dig that idea now Let's get down to the villains. So, for the villains, we actually have some interesting details here that seemingly run in line with previous things that we had heard about the film. Now, first and foremost, Boyd Holbrook from Narcos will be playing Donald Pierce, but he is the head of security for a global corporation, and that global corporation had been rumored to be Essex Corp, but in fact, we now know that is not the case. According to this rap report, that global corporation is called Transigen. Now, like I said, not Essex Corp. So, what could that mean? Well, Nathaniel Essex, Mr. Sinister himself will not be in the film as it, as, it, as it so happens. In fact, Richard E. Grant, who many people thought could be playing Mr. Sinister, will in fact be playing Dr. Xander Rice, another character you might be familiar with if you're familiar with X-23's origin. And that's because Xander Rice was the head of the X-23 project, so he has very involved in her story, not so much involved in the Mr. Sinister side. So that's a big confirmation, a big debunking of another rumor about Mr. Sinister being in the film, but he could appear in a post credit scene as the rap article notes. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think of all of that and what you think of this news. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day and consider supporting us on Patreon for access to all sorts of exclusive goodies. Signing off, this is CJ and I'll see you next time.